Pisces, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Rachel, if you haven't been here before. Welcome, glad to have you. Thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. I could not be more grateful. Guys, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button now and hit the notification bell as well so that you can be notified when I go live and do free personal readings. I don't have a set schedule for those. It's just whenever I have time. So if you don't hit the notification bell, probably not ever going to know about it and then you'll miss out on a free reading. So hit that bell guys and come on out and get your free reading. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every single Pisces out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. So if it doesn't resonate, just check out your other signs. Um, and since this is a love reading, I'd recommend checking out your moon and Venus signs all the time anyway, when it comes to love. If it does resonate though, make sure you hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments how it resonates for you, okay? Don't try to force it though, please. Don't let your life be dictated by any tarot reading ever, okay? All right, y'all, here we go. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who do we have for you guys? What is Pisces up to in love March 8th through the 14th? Guys, if you haven't yet um, already watched them, there is an entire month of March love reading posted as well as a single. So check those out as well. Oh, guys. So you guys are coming in as this empress, not empress, emperor. Why would I say empress? I'm looking right at the card. That's weird. Anyway, emperor reverse. So we got to get you out of that energy, all right? Oh, Ten of Cups reversed is what is crossing you. That would be why you're in that Emperor reverse energy. But we'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry, Pisces. It's just a week-long reading. All is not lost. Foundation. What is the foundation for Pisces this week? The Two of Wands reversed. Recent past for Pisces. The wheel reversed. Present energy. Whoa. All right. Thank you, guys. Spitting it out. Beautiful. Beautiful. The star. Thank goodness this is turning around for you. The immediate future. Immediate future for Pisces. High Priestess. Beautiful energy. Beautiful. You're getting there, guys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you guys. The devil. Capricorn energy. But that's, that's in your position. Sorry, guys. We'll get to the bottom of it. What is in your environment? Pisces environment. The full Aries. You've got so many majors here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six so far. Six. Six majors. Crazy. It's a big week for you guys, huh? Hopes and fears, Pisces. You've got both Aries cards here, if that means anything to you. Maybe you're a cusp. The two of coins, two of pentacles. I am a little sick, guys, so I apologize if my voice starts, starts to sound um, stupid. <laughs> Outcome. Outcome for Pisces, March 8th through the 14th. The Magician, another major. This is amazing. I mean, I know there's challenges, guys, but she's amazing for real. Okay, here we go, y'all. So you guys coming in here as the Emperor Reverse, right? This is not being in your power. It's feeling out of control in your love life. It's really feeling like you just don't have any control over it. Like nothing's happening for you. You can't do anything about anything, right? It's feeling really powerless. 
and it's crossed by the Ten of Cups reversed. All right, um, this is actually your energy, meaning it's Pisces energy, right? Um, but it's feeling really unfulfilled, discontent. If you are in a relationship, it's not a happy one by any means. If you're not, you're feeling like you're just not ever going to get there. You're feeling really unfulfilled. You know, you could be going through a breakup with that Ten of Cups reverse there. If it is a breakup for you, it's the kind of relationship where you guys, you were like a whole family. I mean, you could have actually been a whole family, kids and everything, or you just behave like an actual family, you know? Um, in your foundation, you've got the Two of Wands reversed. So that's a reluctance to make a decision, to pick a path. It's like not knowing where the hell to go. Like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. Or you could feel like you made a bad decision somewhere. You took the wrong path, you know, or someone else did here in the foundation. In the recent past, though, you've got the wheel reversed. So feeling like things are not going in your favor in the recent past, feeling like you maybe had some bad luck. Um... But with the wheel, this is fate, it's destiny. You can only control this to a certain point. This is kind of like you gotta just sit back and let the universe do what it does here. And it's all about divine timing as well. So you might have felt like things are just, they're just not taking, they're, they're taking too long, you know what I mean? Things are not happening as fast as you want them to happen. It's like you feeling out of control and unfulfilled because things are like stuck or there's too many obstacles. All right, in your present though, you've got this beautiful star energy, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Don't have to be. This is universal blessings, universal healing. It's wishes coming true. It's rejuvenation, replenishment. So whatever, whatever has you in this state right here, it's not gonna be for very long. Like things, you're being blessed. Whatever you're wishing for right now, the universe is wanting to give it to you. Okay, let's just clarify that one before I move on. What is this star energy for Pisces? What is this star energy for Pisces? What is this star energy for Pisces? The Page of Swords, new communication. If you were wishing for somebody to reach out for you, it's happening. Um, if you were wishing that you could, you know, maybe get up the courage to reach out to someone else, then it's happening, right? It's blessings from the universe. It's new communication. Page of Swords is really, um, investigative energy too. So you might have somebody already like watching you, watching your social media, checking you out, asking around about you. Let's clarify that page of swords. What is this new communication for Pisces? What is this page of swords for Pisces? Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, by the way. The Ten of Coins. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Coins, Virgo energy. This is somebody communicating to someone else that they want the whole commitment. This is the whole deal right so either you're going to be communicating that to somebody or them to you they're going to be just being real honest like hey like i really want this i really want to commit i really want like the whole thing with you right awesome awesome energy guys in the immediate future you've got the high priestess this is you being spiritually in tune listening to your intuition watch out for any signs and synchronicities um when dealing with your love life or dealing with this this person who's going to communicate to you that they want um an actual commitment or you to them because there's probably going to be a lot of synchronicities between the two of you you've got the high priestess and the star here that's a lot of universal spiritual type energy don't don't neglect your intuition guys see what this high priestess is all about the high priestess is like the keeper of secrets um, and it's not like bad secrets, it's just like knowledge, you know? So you're going to be gifted with some type of knowledge here from the universe about your love life. Ooh, nice. Clarified by the Ace of Swords. There it is again, that new beginning, that new communication. This is an epiphany. It's an aha moment. It's your intuition is going to reveal something to you and you're going to be like, oh, okay. 
that's it. That's it right there. That's the person. That's what I should be doing. And it's it's honest. It's clear. It you know clarity, new communication. It's beautiful. Whatever this is here, that's got you all out of whack. It's it's not gonna last very long. It's clearing the hell out. All right, now yourself, you're coming up here with the devil energy. Um, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Okay, please don't. It is toxic energy. But it doesn't have to be that like you're doing bad things. It doesn't have to be that. It could be that you're scared. It could be that you've got yourself in this place mentally where you're just feeling like scared that nothing's going to happen. Or maybe you're afraid, afraid of something. Like afraid of um, either talking to someone or not ever having like that commitment. Um, which isn't reality. That is going to happen. But this is fear-based mentality. It's feeling like restrained it's feeling chained to something and, and it doesn't have to be a relationship it can be you know a belief system you might be so like in these beliefs that are not serving you and you can't let go of them because they're they're in you that's your belief system that's hard to let go of you know um <clears throat> it can also be obsession it can be lust what is this devil energy you might have Capricorn in your chart as well. What is this devil energy for Pisces? The Knight of Cups reversed. Are you having trouble expressing yourself emotionally? This is like a lack of emotional expression. Um, it, it is player energy. So you might be in that a little bit here. Um, a little lusty, a little playeristic. No judgment, guys. I mean, I don't know anyone that hasn't been there at some point in their lives. But it can also just be like an inability to express yourself emotionally. To say how you feel. You know, actually how you feel. Because it's scary. Right? But, you know, Pisces, you kind of... You can't neglect your feelings, guys. That's that's a huge part of you. You don't want to, um, with being a water sign, you don't want to get your emotions all out of balance and unexpressed because it's going to cause some self-destruction here. All right, y'all. In your environment is the full Aries. There could be an, an there could be an Aries that's in your environment. Um, <coughs> it doesn't have to be though. But what's in your environment here is the potential for a new beginning. Again, you've got the star, you've got the page of swords, you've got the ace of swords, all kinds of new energy here, right? With the full being here, it's it's a start of a whole brand new journey, right? It's the very first card in the tarot. It's the beginning of your new story. Um, so the potential is there to take a risk, to take a leap of faith, to just jump right into a new beginning and not really paying attention to what could go wrong because it's just taking a chance on something, you know? Um, I don't know that you're going to do that because you are in that fear mindset. Um, but the opportunity is there for you if you want it. Let's get another one on this full. What is this full energy for Pisces? The Three of Pentacles reversed. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're just not sure if you want to work on anything. Like, all right. So, you know the opportunities there. You know you could probably jump right into something with someone. But you're not sure if you guys would make a make a good team. You're not sure if they'd be good in an actual partnership. Or if you even want to work on anything with anyone to that extent. You know? Hopes and fears. The Two of Coins. Two of Pentacles. So this is just, it's prioritizing, it's keeping everything in balance in your life. So you might feel like you have a lot of responsibilities and you're not sure if you can juggle maybe like your responsibilities and a relationship. You're not sure if you can like juggle all of that. Can be that you're trying to decide between two people as well. Again, no judgment. It doesn't matter if you're a single person, you know, you can date as many people as you want. It's up to you. Um, but it is juggling between two things and trying to just keep everything, everything up in the air and nothing getting dropped, you know, you just, it's, it's a lot of responsibilities, but you're doing okay with it. Now, guys, in your outcome, you've got this magician. This is you being able to manifest whatever it is that you want, anything you want, guys. Full on manifestation mode with the magician, the star, and the high priestess here. 
could not get any better for you to get what you want. You just have to take advantage of it. You have to really make sure that you're setting your intent and you're being proactive about it, you know, taking the actions to get what it is that you want, not just saying it, you know what I mean? You have to put it all together, right? So what is it that you're manifesting? What is it, guys? What is this magician energy for Pisces? What is Pisces manifesting March 8th through the 14th? Ooh, beautiful. The wheel. Remember you have that in your recent past? Reverse. Well, you've just turned it around. I knew that the reading was turning around. I said that in the beginning. It is. Here it is. You go from having the wheel reversed in the past to having it upright in your outcome. You've turned it around. You've done it. Um, so you're manifesting you're manifesting your life the way that you want it to be in your love life. You're turning things around for you. This is obviously, it's a wheel of fortune. It's fate. It's destiny. You're turning things around for yourself. And I do have to say for those of you that, you know, pregnancy is a potential here. This is my only wheel card where chick is pregnant on the card. Some of you could be manifesting a pregnancy. So if that's not what you want in your life, take the proper precautions. Okay, let's get another one on that. Oh, there we go with the quickness oh the palace of coins reversed this these are extra cards in this deck and they represent actual property um you could be manifesting yourself out of a house and into another one okay good shit anyway take care guys beautiful reading good job turning it all around and i will talk to you in another day or two take care pisces